What's up guys, it's Trey Alessio, the Dawn of Entertainment. Um, we are back with another episode of Trailer Talk. So, big news today, Avengers Infinity War, the full trailer dropped. And it was fucking awesome! A lot going on. Very, very excited for this movie. Uh, I'll be the first to tell you I am kind of a casual Marvel fan. I would say I'm a diehard Star Wars fan, but when it comes to Marvel, obviously I love the movies. Um, I have missed a few here and there. Like I haven't seen uh, Doctor Strange. I haven't seen Thor Ragnarok yet. Uh, there are some movies that uh, I've seen a long, long time ago, but I haven't like revisited like the first Captain America or uh, the cup, the first couple Thors, you know. So I would say. Uh, before you watch this that I am a casual Marvel fan so I'm not gonna get into the great great details but I'm gonna break this trailer down for you because there's a lot a lot a lot going on and uh, let's get it all right so the trailer was sick it was awesome it built the hype um, really posed a lot of interesting questions uh, basically Thanos he um, is going to get the Infinity Stones. Once he gets all four of them, with a snap of his finger, he can wipe out the universe. Um, Gamora, his daughter, explains this. The entire time I knew him, he only ever had one goal. To wipe out half the universe. If he gets all the Infinity Stones... He can do it with the snap of his fingers. Just like that. Tell me his name again. Thanos. He seems like he has potential to be an iconic villain. Um, something I think would be very cool moving forward as a Marvel fan. Like I said, uh, Thanos is a straight badass. Uh, I can straight tell that from the trailer. Um, Marvel has really, really said that they want to make this their most iconic villain. Uh, producers have said that they want him to be the Darth Vader of this era. And they need to step it up. They really do. Because uh, up until Killmonger and Black Panther, they haven't really had an iconic villain. They've had some good ones, but, you know, they normally just die right away, which, spoiler alert, Killmonger does too. So, uh, really, 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 they need to come up clutch with Thanos. And uh, we know that Thanos is going to be in the next Avengers movie. So therefore, that leads to the main question, who's going to die? And we'll get to that, but I'm going to break this down a little bit further. Really, this trailer poses the question, are there going to be two separate Avengers teams? It looks like we have Captain America and his crew, Black Widow, Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier, um, kind of teaming up with Black Panther. They look like they're going to Wakanda, and maybe because... Uh, Captain America's shield is vibranium, we know. So maybe he's going to go to Wakanda for some help. They're going to team up. But then separately, it looks like Iron Man is going to team up with the Guardians of the Galaxy. We also see, see Thor with uh, Groot and potentially more Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, so really, it poses the question, did Civil War really separate Iron Man and Captain America? Are they going to stay separate? Um, or are we going to get a full team up and they're going to try and take on Thanos together? Or is it going to be kind of divided? That, that brings up another question. So Thanos has this iconic quote. When I'm done, half of humanity will still exist. So with Thanos' half of the universe comment, uh, does that mean these two maybe separate teams are on different sides of the universe? I think that's a fair theory with Doctor Strange and how he can do his thing. Like I said, haven't seen Doctor Strange, so I don't know everything there is to know about him. But I'm pretty sure he can kind of do his little teleport thing and bring uh, one side of the team um, on this side and then have the other side go that way, you know, and he can control that. So maybe Dr. Strange plays a big part in this. Uh, 
back way way back before we even got a trailer before it, it was just uh rumors about the avengers it was said that this movie is going to be told from multiple perspectives so maybe dr strange has a hand in that i'm really excited about the the humor that's going to be sprinkled out throughout this movie uh we get little glimpses of it in this trailer which i thought was really cool uh we have spider-man the guardians of the galaxy star lord doing his little smart ass thing let's talk about this plan of yours i think it's good except it sucks so let me do the plan and that way it might be really good wow uh spider-man meeting up with dr strange in the end i thought that was pretty pretty good pretty funny i'm peter by the way dr strange oh you're using your made-up names then I am Spider-Man. Where the hell is Hawkeye? Uh, he's not in the, the poster. He's not in the trailer. Uh, really, there's been no word of him, even in the teaser. Uh, we're just left wondering, where the hell is Hawkeye? And you know, another one that I haven't even heard rumors about is Ant-Man. Is Ant-Man in this movie? I would think he would be, but... Uh, where the hell is Ant-Man? Where's Hawkeye? Lots of questions with this one. This ugly dude is apparently Corvus Glaive, a prominent member of the Black Order, which apparently is the children of Thanos. So it'll be interesting to see how Thanos delegates to this Black Order. Are they going to try to manipulate Gamora, Nebula? Nebula kind of turned from the dark side and went... Uh, as kind of a partner with Gamora in the last Guardians of the Galaxy. So it'll be interesting to see if Thanos and his Black Order tries to get them on his side. Uh, it kind of looked like we got a flashback with Gamora kind of holding the finger of Thanos. So maybe he's going to try and pull some punches there. So the biggest question of this crazy trailer, who is going to die? I really think that we are going to get some some people that are going to die, some superheroes that are going to die. It's going to be a crazy moment, probably a sad moment. This is the culmination of 10 fucking years in the making. Marvel has been killing it. Uh, I hate to say it because I like Batman, I like DC, but they've been killing DC. Um, Marvel's been doing this for 10 years. This is kind of everything in the making. It's all leading up to this movie. So this movie is going to be insane. There's going to be so many characters, so many storylines, and hopefully they all intertwine and we get something to come in the end with everyone. I, I, I really hope we get just a big ass battle scene where all of them are fighting against Thanos and Thanos and maybe his Black Order are doing some damage to the Avengers. It's going to be fucking crazy and I'm excited as hell. Uh, but like I said earlier, Thanos is confirmed for the next Avengers movie, which definitely leads me to believe that some people are going to die. My bold prediction is Captain America. Uh, it leads the question, are they going to kill off maybe some of the older characters like Captain America or Iron Man to carve out space for the new and successful characters, maybe like Black Panther, maybe like Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, etc. Uh, I, I definitely think some people are going to die. Maybe Hawkeye is off doing his own thing, um, on his own journey. Maybe he fucking dies. Maybe, uh, they're, like I said, they're going to carve out room for the old characters. Because obviously the the next movie in the sequence of the Marvel movies is going to be Spider-Man 2. So it'd be stupid for them to kill off Spider-Man. And I hate to think about it from like a production standpoint, like they're not going to kill these people because they have movies coming up. But you got to kind of think about it like that. Uh, just, I don't foresee them killing off these new characters like Black Panther where um, they could easily have a sequel after the first one was so successful much like Spider-Man. Uh, just so, you gotta think about it in terms of that. Um, maybe they're gonna make way for these new characters and kill off Iron Man, uh, Captain America, uh, maybe Hulk, Thor, who, who knows? People are gonna die. I really think they are, and it's gonna suck, but who's gonna die? Let us know what you think. Okay, rumor mill time, baby. So, my questions. 
I've got these answers. I'm just going to throw the questions out there. You tell me what you think. Go ahead and tweet me, comment on the post. Uh, let me know what you think. I'll tell you what I think. Uh, Nick, Fur Nick Fury, is he going to show up? Uh, the X-Men, are they going to show up? Captain Marvel, is she going to show up? Uh, Fantastic Four, will they show up? Captain America, will he die and Bucky Barnes become the new Captain America? Uh, will Iron Man sacrifice himself? Kind of looked like in the in the trailer, or excuse me, in the poster that he was like kind of doing the cross, um, the crucifix, and kind of looking like he was going to maybe sacrifice himself with his heart uh, thing. So will he die? Um, also, another rumor going around, uh, Peter Dinklage, uh, the midget, the imp from Game of Thrones, he has technically been confirmed uh, based on the poster. I think maybe if you look really closely in the names in the bottom, he might be in there. Um, who is he playing? We have no idea. We haven't seen him in the trailer. Uh, I've read a few things online, a couple characters that he could play. Pip the Troll, Modic, Star Fox, The Watcher, Eitri, the King of the Dwarfs. Um, I am a Marvel movie fan, a casual Marvel movie fan at that, so I don't really get deep into the comics. So if you're a comic book reader, please let me know what you think and um, tell me who you think Peter Dinklage is going to play because I really have no fucking idea, but I'm excited for the idea to bring in new characters because we already know that Marvel is planning 20 movies going forward so they're obviously going to bring in new characters and new people so peter dinklage maybe he's a prominent character moving forward um yeah so overall i think that like i said i think captain america is going to die i think it'd be hard to kill off iron man and captain america um i think the more likely character to die is Captain America. You have Bucky Barnes to possibly become the next Captain America. Um, like I said, Iron Man kind of looks like in the poster like he's going to sacrifice himself. I think it'd be a ballsy, ballsy move on Marvel's part to kill off two of your most iconic characters in the first kind of Infinity War movie. Technically, we know that the next Avengers movie is not Avengers Infinity War Part 2 anymore. It's going to be separate. So who fucking knows what's going to happen? All I know is it's going to be crazy, and I'm here for it. Um, I think we'll see Nick Fury. I think we'll see Captain Marvel. I don't think... It's raining outside, sorry. Uh, I don't think we're going to see Fantastic Four. Uh, remember this tweet where they kind of hinted it's a fantastic idea. Are they trolling us? Are we going to see Fantastic Four? Saw a rumor going around online that maybe the Fantastic Four bought the Avengers Tower in Spider-Man Homecoming. Um, so maybe they'll just hint at it. Maybe we'll get a post credit scene leading up to that because obviously with Disney buying Fox, um, we get, we're, we're going to get Marvel owning Deadpool and X-Men and Fantastic Four. They have already confirmed in the future they will show up in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But will they have turned it around this quick and will they be a part of Infinity War? That would be some crazy shit. But who knows? Marvel can do fucking anything. I believe that. Um... I don't think we'll see X-Men either. I think that will be too quick of a move. Um, am I here for it? Maybe, if it's done right. I think I think that it'll have to be a small part. Maybe just, you know, kind of mention them. If we see them, we're already getting all these, all these characters on one screen. But if you're going to throw in more X-Men and Fantastic Four, more teams into the already big-ass team-up movie... That might be a little too much, um, and I don't think Marvel wants to overplay that. Um, another cool little tidbit that I heard that uh, the directors, past directors like uh, Ryan Coogler, who did Black Panther, and James Gunn, who did The Guardians of the Galaxy, are also teaming up with the Russo brothers to direct this movie, kind of like the Avengers of directors. Uh, so that's a really cool thing. It's always cool to see collaboration because 
you know, more than one mind is always better than one mind. Um, so I'm really excited for this movie. I really am. Uh, the trailer really did it for me. I thought it was awesome. Um, I, I'm really fucking excited. It's going to be crazy. The fact that we get it sooner than we thought uh, originally was coming out on May 4th. And now it's going to be April 27th. So we get it a week before than what we thought. Um, excited, man. We don't have a, that long to wait anymore. Uh, so let the speculations and rumors fly. Let me know what you think. I thought it was a dope trailer. And tell me, tell me what you think. I'm Trey Lessio, the dawn of entertainment, back with another episode of Trailer Talk. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to be doing a lot more of these type of videos. Uh, Big Brother Breakdowns coming this summer. If I don't make it in that house, you know I'm trying. Uh, so we got that. We got uh, pop culture dinner trays every week, every Monday. We're going to do more unfiltered cinematic movie reviews. Just a lot more videos. So please subscribe to that YouTube channel and tell your friends. Uh, we're coming for you this year, so hop on the bandwagon. I say it all the time, but you're gonna want to do it. Um, big projects in mind on the video platform, so uh, stay tuned there, and we will be back for more. Thanks for watching. Peace.